Hi, so welcome to this another special wonderful session of CAT question of the day and this is Kamal Lohia, your companion in this special intellectual journey. So, today we will talk about an important, a very famous question that many times, many places, many places, at every, uh, many different examinations, uh, you may have seen it already or you would be seeing in the uh, future. So, if you have not solved the question before, you have missed somehow, you still have got time, I am getting aside. So, take a screenshot or pause your video, solve this question on your own first. So, our agenda is that how we can do this question quickly in a better way, in a better way, in a less way. Uh, less calculative mode and uh, can we have some shortcut so yes we are going to have extension questions as well as shortcut too okay so your time starts now okay i'll come back uh, coming back now so i hope आपने क्वेश्चन सॉल्व कर लिया है और अगर नहीं किया है तो भाइयों बहनों फिर से रिवाइंड कीजिए और क्वेश्चन को पहले खुद से सॉल्व कीजिए ओके नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस इट सो दिस क्वेश्चन बिलोंग्स टू अ कैटेगरी ऑफ वर्ड प्रॉब्लम यू कैन से और इट इट अपीयर्स टू बी सिचुएशन ऑफ टाइम एंड वर्क राइट वेयर टाइम द वर्क इज बर्निंग ऑफ अ कैंडल एंड हाउ मच टाइम इज इनकर्ड दे आर हैविंग डिफरेंट रेट्स ऑफ बर्निंग सो इट्स इट्स रिलेटेड टू टाइम एंड वर्क बेसिकली अरिथमेटिक एंड इट्स अ वर्क ऑफ सिंपल रेशियोस Right? Uh, by using simple ratios only we can answer this question. Uh, but let's make it simple. As I said, our objective is to make it simple. So, kaise isko simply solve kar sakte hain? Let's do it together. So, it says, two candles of equal length. So, initially they are of equal length. Right? So, they are lit at the same time. Unko saath mein burn kiya gaya, jalaya gaya. Right? And uh, one candle will burn down completely in four hours. So, एक चार घंटे में पूरा जल जाएगी and the other in five hours, other in five hours. So the first step to make it very simple without getting confused. So what should we do? So let's assume the total length of the candle equal length. It is right. It is equal length. So let's assume the total length to be LCM. Let the assume the total length to be LCM of these two numbers here, four and five, right? Because these are the different burning rate, uh, burning times. So exactly as we do in the normal time and work problem. So, so whatever is the uh, duration in which two persons individually can do a task. So we assume the total work to be LCM of that, right? To make the calculation simpler. So exactly same way. Let's assume the total work here. That is total length of the each of the candle to be LCM of these two numbers, four and five, which comes out to be 20 units. Fine. So that is a 20 units total length. So our requirement finally is something like this that one candle should be twice this one candle should be twice the length of the other candle right that is our requirement Aisa ho jai. but isse pehle initially the length was same and that we have just assumed to be 20 so initially they were of length say 20 units like this so yahan tak ki thi ye wali length bhi ye yahan tak ki thi so drawing diagram make the things a simpler to visualize it becomes easier to visualize when we draw the situation so initially both the uh, both these candles were of equal length i am let me denote it by different color so that it becomes easily visible initially this was the total length and this was the total length for the two candles now this blue part has been burned down and finally we are left with this yellow part and uh, which is uh, one is uh, half of the other or this uh, this one is twice of the other, right? That was the requirement. So question says both burn at constant rate. How long do they have to burn until one candle is exactly twice as long as other, right? So this is a diagram which we have drawn here. Now, uh, so this is twice as uh, this. So how much time after how long, after how long, after how long, uh, do they have to burn until one candle is twice, exactly twice as long as the other. As I have already said that, uh, ki sawal aapko kafi pe milte hai, and uh, it becomes time consuming and confusing sometimes for some of the students. Of course, some of the students are very fast. They are able to answer it very fast. But uh, to some, it becomes calculative thing, uh, confusing thing, how to go about it because nothing is mentioned. Only timings are mentioned. So as I already mentioned you, it is just like time and work problem. So the total work, the total length is 20 units, fine. So when we are having two workers here, uh, one can finish the work in four hours, other in five hours. So we can find out the rate of work, right? They have one day work or basically one hour work in this case. So ye jo candle, 4 mein 20 unit burn kar degi. Can you tell me what is its rate of burning? 
of course it comes out to be 5 units per hour isn't it it is 5 units per hour kyunki baba har ghante mein 4 4 char ghante mein total 20 units burn karne wali hai right to total 20 units ko agar char part mein break karunga to har ghante mein 5 5 unit burn karne wali hai so the rate over comes out to be 5 units per hour same way for this other candle which can burn this entire entire candle of 20 units length in 5 hours that means it is burning at what rate 4 units per hour right that is 20 by 5 which is 4 units per hour okay so let's assume let's assume uh, this task uh, is going to be accomplished in t hours right so let's say required time be t so for t time uh, this candle which is burning at a slower rate uh, it has burned how much uh, length 40 if t is the required time so in t time uh, this 40 length has been burned down and here if you see this 5t length has been burned down yes or no theek hai na a simple thing okay so now how much is the remaining length you can easily figure it out so the remaining length is uh, total was 20 total was 20 so the remaining one is 20 minus 5t this is the remaining length here and remaining length for this candle is nothing but 20 minus 40 theek hai now what next i hope it is very clear to all of you now what is the next step so next step is simple most of you would be saying sir simple si equation bana lete hain na that uh, this length is two times of this one yes that's perfectly fine that can be done and you can write that and get your answer but as i said let's make it simpler right let's make it simpler when i say at the moment i say that uh, this length is twice of this right this is twice of this hai na to 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 what can i say that uh, whatever their gap is that gap must be equal to this length yes or no i repeat i repeat uh agar ye wali candle ka double ye length hai it means is longer candle mein is lambi candle mein ye choti candle do aa jayengi na yes or no are ha yes do aa jayengi or in other words whatever is this gap that should be also the same length yes or no yes so using the simple analogy here so what we do we get here so let's calculate their difference can you tell me their difference the difference in the length of the remaining candles now we have we know that 5t is burned here 4t is burned here so this gap is how much it is 5t minus 4t that is t all right which means this the shorter length remaining should also be equal to t isn't it right अरे तभी तो ये छोटी वाली लेंथ दो पूरी पूरी इसमें आ पाएंगे ओनली देन इट इज गोइंग टू बी ट्वाइस और द शॉर्टर वन राइट सो बेसिकली और इक्वेशन शुड बी सिंपली ट्वेंटी माइनस फाइव टी इज इक्वल टू टी राइट सो एज आई मेंशन यू दैट वी नीड टू मेक इट सिंपलर डोंट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड बिकॉज एज आ सेड वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स को इक्वेशन में कन्वर्ट करना इज इज अ मोस्ट चैलेंजिंग टास्क for most of the aspirants in cat i've seen i'm seeing it for <laughs> two decades now more than two decades now sabse zyada challenging hai chote bacche ke liye school going bacche ke liye bhi this is a challenging task and even a graduate or maybe who is a working aspirant for them also it is very difficult task to put the sentence put to put the word in the form of an equation and then solving it is another problem right to make it simple that's why it is very essential so i hope it is very clear now it's very simple logical thing तो अगर ये लॉन्गर लेंथ छोटी का डबल है इट मींस लॉन्गर लेंथ में छोटी वाली दो इक्वल इक्वल लेंथ आ जाएंगी राइट सो वट एवर इज देयर गैप तो दैट मस्ट बी सेम एज द लेंथ ऑफ द शॉर्टर शॉर्टर कैंडल हेयर राइट एंड दिस गैप वाज टी हाउ डिड वी गेट दिस 5t minus 40 so this remaining length is also t fine so this t must be equal to 20 minus 5t that's it we are done so 20 minus 5t is equal to t which means 6t is equal to 20 or 3t is equal to 10 or t is equal to 10 by 3 hours right all things were in hours only right ghanton mein hi baat chal rahi thi total so it is 10 by 3 hours or basically 3 and 1 by 3 hours or if you convert it into uh minutes so it comes out to be 3 hours and 20 minutes so that's the answer to this question right 3 1 by 3 hours we can say or 3 hour 20 minutes that is the right answer for this particular question i hope it is uh, very clear to all of you okay now extension question for all of you right now this you are supposed to do on your own and write the answer in the comment box below right in your this youtube uh session okay so uh, the question i'm changing here is so in place of twice if i make it thrice if i make it thrice all of the things remain same 
<laughs> all of the things remain same. If I'm just changing this twice to be thrice, can you answer it quickly? Fast, right now. Oh, yes, I'm sure most of you have already done, right? I, I can hear your voice. I can hear your voice uh, through, <laughs> through this media, this camera only. Yes, so you, it's very easy. Most of you are already saying, Sir, Baki to the same hi tha na. This is T, so then this length must be half of T so that it total become thrice, right? Now, because the gap must become twice of this length. So in place of T, it must be equal to T by 2 now. So effectively, T plus T by 2, that is 3 by 2T, 3 by 2T should be equal to this 3 by 2T, uh, this T plus, this should be T by 2 now. This should be t by 2. Now, basically, the t by 2, let me write like this. Anyway, uh, t plus t by 2, that is 3t by 2 plus 4t also, right? Plus 4t. That total is equal to 20. In a way, you can say that. So, 4t plus t, 5t, 5t and half of t. That is 11 by 2t, effectively, right? 11 by 2t, effectively. This 11 by 2t is equal to 20. Or uh, this t comes out to be 40 by 11. Okay? Anyhow, this extension question, we have just solved it right now only without doing much effort. Now, uh, final thing, uh, I, I was discussing a shortcut also that how we can uh, simplify it. So, if I change this question further, if in, in place of thrice, it, is, it says n times. If it becomes n times, right? Let's generalize it now. And these values are now not 4 and 5, they are some, let's say, uh, a and B, let's say this is A, uh, A and B, right, in general, ARs and BRs. So, now what would be the answer? Now, I am telling you the answer directly, but you are to derive it now, right, you are to derive it and that you are going to post in comments. Uh, answer I am giving you directly right now, so as uh, not to uh, be baffled, what is that? So, answer will be that in this case, in this general case, this what would be time? This time would be equal to how much? It is going to be n minus 1 times a b upon n a minus b, where a is greater than b, right? a is a, a larger value here among the two. So, this is going to be your answer for this general case. Now, I have already given you the shortcut. So, you can plug in the values and verify by the way let's let's verify it for this first question when we were asking about twice so in the case of twice uh, a and b were 5 and 4 isn't it a and b were 5 and 4 let me check it uh, right now in front of you so n was 2 so when n was 2 so this t was equal to n is 2 so 2 minus 1 5 into 4 divided by n times a n was 2 so 2 into 5 is the larger value minus 4 right that is uh, 20 by 10 minus 4, 6, that is 10 by 3 hours, right? We got it already here. Yes, it was 10 by 3. Okay, and in the second case, which we have just done here, if I use that again, so in the second case, we had uh, n to be 3, 3 times we were looking for, so n is 3, so 3 minus 1, 5 into 4, that was the same, these were the same values which we used, divided by n times a, n is 3 here, so 3 times 5 minus 4, which means 2 into 5, 10 into 4, 40 by 15 minus 4, that is 11. So, 40 by 11, we already got that, all right? So, I've already given you the shortcut now. This is our final answer. But how did I reach here? You are to do it on your own and verify in the comments that you have got it. Fine. Thank you very much.